Hello everyone, hope you found it doing great. Welcome to Elias Tech channel. If you're new here, welcome and I'm so happy to see you all once again. Guys, one of the very important topic, I need you guys attention and it's very necessary and these things are the most fundamental stuff as a technical person to know when you join in any company, if you are already in some companies, but I try my best to go with uh, more details and with all ingredients in order to have the delicious foods, you know. Um, all right, so uh, with, with all recipes. So in our project, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a, a folder, and once we create a folder, then we share share that folder, and we're gonna map it into different computers. So this is my client computer, and this is my domain controller. So in my scenario, it's more professional way. I've seen some people they just have a work group computer. And they want to share something that's also possible but for me since i have domain controller why not so this is the most professional way i'm using windows server 2022 and i'm so excited to share with you guys how to map network drive in windows server 2022 and what is the procedure all right i don't want to eat up your time let's dive into this project with more details uh i'm going to create a folder I'm going to create a folder just keep in your mind come to um, documents or if your computer that's come if your server has like different drives if it is map DFS DFSR and so on so you can map that one as well so so far my computer that's come with one drive and that's a C drive and I'm going to use this uh, space all right so I come to documents you don't have to come document but you just need to know where you want to uh, make your share drive right click i would say that um youtube um youtube uh the uh vi videos yeah i will say youtube videos so what i have done i just right click in here and what i say new folder so once i have done the new folder um, and what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to right click on this folder and go to properties. Once I get here, what I'm going to do is I would say share. See, it's not shared yet. Let's click share. We can say share to, um, it asks like share to who? And the owner is administrator. And what I'm going to do is I will find um, everyone, everyone see if i can find everyone all right so in here if you look at here the formation is uh everyone but read but i would say no read and write i mean everyone should read and write so in the terms of security we can figure out um probably uh, in this lecture or some maybe some other time all right i just say share done what happened is when you right click and it is share. If you come to advanced sharing, that's also a good option. So you just need to click share this folder. Once you share this folder, you can write the command. This is only for this only for YouTubers. This is only for YouTubers. I mean, only YouTubers are allowed. Set the permission, permission everyone, or I can say only let's say Elias tech only this user should have a full permission apply okay all right apply okay this is how you can share or this is how you can create a share folder so in order to make sure that you have created good things you have to go to run once you get here forward slash localhost you have to type localhost click here and you would be a witness of folder by the name of YouTube videos what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some stuff in here I just want to make sure uh, so I need a formation because I don't have any formation if you remember from the formation it's done fine I was not allowed so let me right click in here I'm going to it's a good thing to just need to learn how to set the formation so permission so what i'm going to do is uh this is the only one who has a full permission i would say no you know man i am that 
administrator so you have to all administrators so administrator is a group remember that as administrators and administrator without s is a single user so i say whoever is a member of administrator should have full control all right so this is how you can give the full control as well and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and run the same script to see it's not a script but just look we'll see what we can do i'm going to right click and a new folder i would say this is my this month uh, you can see the use so this is my this month video so just i have a folder on it all right so now what we're gonna do is we have to log into this computer remember that this is the important thing um you log into any computer whether whether it's connected to the wireless or wire or so on it's not too complicated uh, i can't remember oh i can't remember this one anyway let me reset the password it's very easy it's it's, it's not a production this is my test lab. I can do whatever, even I can delete this user. I will turn I will disable this user. You will get mad on me, like, oh you turn off no one, it's, it's me. <laughs> Alright, so properties, uh we don't have to go here, uh right click, go to reset the password, it should be ABC at one two three four five six seven eight nine. Uh ABC at one two three four five six seven eight I think nine. Oh, all right so now has abc at one two three four five six seven eight nine the reason which i see one two three four five six seven eight nine is that i have set up uh, some uh, password policies in here so it should meet the the requirements should be uppercase lowercase complex city like the symbols numbers and it should be more than uh, 14 characters that's why all right so i'm in this computer i just log into another computer which is uh, Elias and what I'm going to do is I'm going to going to run first thing you should keep in your mind is that you have to make sure that you have the file uh, file server IP address IP config all right it is 192.168.2.15 what we're gonna do is no it's not 192 it is 10.0.2.15 10.0.2.15 um, all right there you go if i click here this is this is a folder youtube video if i click here there's a two way i can do that either i have to i can click a right click map drive remember that and uh, there's another ways as well i will show you that the other ways as well so connect using different credentials i said connected assign it you can have to click this one if the guys want to change the credential that's different things but so far finish this is how you can map a folder in your windows server 2022 or i can say in any drive that you want to map let's disconnect this one because this was a this different one and there you go i have a folder in here and i have a full formation if you remember guys um, i will say there you go so this is my folder so this is how you can map a folder uh, or you can create a sh uh, folder share it and give the permission and map it into any windows or any types of computer that you want to map it so you would say that okay you said you're gonna show as in different ways as well there's another way come in here uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we have to come to you have to come to this PC uh, computer uh, map drive map drive so in here you have to know the path then you have to know the path so I'm going to run and I would type the same IP uh, this time I'm gonna I'm gonna use this one so I just copy the path from here I say I want to share uh, I want to copy this path and paste it here this is the longest here. this is another way to map drive inside your windows finish all right i'm all set if i close and open 
the species you will be a witness of two recent uh, shared drives so this was mapped already but i just remap it just to make sure uh yeah this one is also mapped and this one is also mapped all right this is how you guys you can create a shared drive and map it to any kind of windows that you want but the good thing is this is how you can do on windows server 2022 okay guys until next time let's stay safe be brave and don't forget to subscribe my channel guys and don't forget to share these videos with your friend with your family with whoever are pursuing these kind of valuable information these are the most and high demanding skills that you should know in a cutting age of technology all right we'll be in touch in the next tutorials or in the next videos thank you everyone